When we look at Earth from space, it is actually a planet dominated by oceans, we now know that 70.8% of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans, yet our understanding of the oceans is limited. We have only explored 5% to 10% of the overall ocean area. Today, let's delve into the mysteries of the ocean. The Mariana Trench is the deepest known part of our oceans, and the deepest point is named the Challenger Deep. It reaches a depth of approximately 11,034 meters, surpassing the height of the world's highest mountain, Mount Everest. If we were to place Mount Everest into the deepest part of the ocean, it would still need to rise about 2,000 meters above sea level. In ancient times, sailors measured the depth of the sea by attaching a weight to the end of a long rope, then lowering it into the water until it reached the ocean floor. The sailor would then measure the length of the submerged rope to determine the depth of the sea. Today, people widely use sonar to explore the underwater world. When measuring the depth of the seabed in a particular area, an echo sounder is first used to send out ultrasonic waves. These waves reflect back when they reach the seabed, allowing the calculation of the time it takes for the ultrasonic waves to travel from emission to reception. With the knowledge of the speed of sound in seawater, approximately 1,500 meters per second, the depth of the ocean floor can be determined. First, 3 meters below sea level, at this depth, the water temperature remains relatively warm, and the typical depth for regular human swimming does not exceed 3 meters. At depths of 20 to 30 meters underwater, we find ourselves in the surface layer of the ocean. Sunlight penetrates through the clear seawater, creating an ecological stage. It's a paradise for shallow water planktonic organisms, with vibrant coral reefs and swaying seaweed providing a backdrop for a variety of fish dancing gracefully. Here, we may encounter anemone sprites, a group of tiny marine organisms, and various types of jellyfish moving elegantly through the sea. At 40 meters underwater is the typical limit for recreational scuba diving. Beyond this depth, joint pain, dizziness, and similar symptoms to altitude sickness may occur. It's a curious phenomenon that when descending to great depths underwater or traveling to higher elevations, similar symptoms arise. This may be a physiological response designed to prevent us from entering harsh environments, as exposure to such places could adversely affect our health. The world's deepest pool is located in Dubai, with a depth of 60 meters, the water in this pool alone is equivalent to about six Olympic-sized swimming pools combined. It is 15 meters deeper than the world's second deepest swimming pool. At around 70 meters underwater, we can encounter the silhouette of whale sharks. As the largest species of shark, whale sharks typically reach lengths of 9 to 12 meters, with some individuals growing up to 20 meters, and their mouth width alone can reach 1.5 meters. Despite being a type of shark, whale sharks are not aggressive, and they do not pose a threat to divers, in fact, many whale sharks enjoy interacting with scuba enthusiasts. At a depth of 70 meters, it's also possible to encounter killer whales, also known as orcas. As the top predators in the marine food chain, Killer whales have no natural enemies, preying on fish, seals, and other whales. Apart from humans, killer whales are considered the most intelligent animals in the world, surpassing the intelligence of chimpanzees, elephants, crows, and parrots. They are also incredibly fast, reaching speeds of up to 55 km per hour in the water. At a depth of 100 meters below sea level in the North Pacific, it is the habitat of the giant Pacific octopus. This octopus typically weighs around 15 kilograms, with a maximum arm span of up to 8 meters. There are documented cases of individuals weighing up to 71 kilograms, making them considered the largest octopuses. In ancient times, they were often referred to as deep sea monsters and giant sea monsters. This type of octopus can also change color like a chameleon, using this ability to evade predators or for hunting. When they camouflage themselves, 
they can seamlessly blend with intricate patterns of coral, plants, and rocks. At a depth of 200 meters lies a crucial boundary, above this depth, sunlight penetrates sufficiently, creating a diverse ecosystem and the most densely populated area for marine life. Below 200 meters, we refer to it as the deep sea because, at this depth, sunlight is insufficient for photosynthesis. Therefore, green leafy plants are virtually absent below this depth. This location is the habitat of the oarfish, the world's longest bony fish. Oarfish lack scales and pelvic fins, with a serpentine body, horse-like head, and small mouth. They are large and elongated, with weights exceeding 100 kilograms. Due to their resemblance to dragons in appearance, the oarfish is considered the embodiment of dragons in some Southeast Asian countries, revered as the white dragon king in the sea. Japanese fishermen refer to it as the messenger from the dragon palace. At a depth of 500 meters, this is the maximum diving depth for blue whales, the largest known animals on Earth. Their body length typically ranges from 21 to 27 meters, with some exceeding 30 meters, and they can weigh up to 180 tons. To put it in perspective, if a person weighs 80 kilograms, it would take around 2,250 people to match the weight of a blue whale. The tongue of a blue whale can support the weight of 40 to 50 people, and its blood vessels are large enough to accommodate a human child. The heart of a blue whale can be as large as a small car. Not only is the blue whale's body extremely large, but its vocalizations are also exceptionally loud. The sound produced by a taking off airplane is approximately 120 decibels, while the blue whale's vocalizations underwater can reach 188 decibels, louder than an airplane. Moreover, their sounds can travel up to 1,600 kilometers, equivalent to the straight-line distance from Beijing to Fuzhou. In other words, a blue whale in Fuzhou could call a pod of whales located 1,600 kilometers away in Beijing with a single vocalization. Many people are familiar with eels, and eel dishes are considered delicious. While many believe eels live only in rivers, they spend half of their time in the sea, returning to rivers only for spawning. The habitat of European eels is around 700 meters deep in the deep sea, where they spend half of their lives. In 1939, American biologists discovered a strange fish at a depth of over 600 meters in the deep sea. It had a transparent head and tube-like eyes, aptly named the barrel eye fish. Its scientific name is Macropina microstoma. The eyes of this fish are upward-facing, resembling a telescope, and it can only see the area above its head. What appears to be its eyes are actually its two nostrils. In the pitch-black environment of the seabed where sunlight is scarce, these fish use their tubular eyes to search for prey targets with vague outlines above their heads, quietly approaching them from below. Additionally, 750 meters is the maximum depth for modern nuclear attack submarines. Beyond this depth, submarines may experience implosion due to the immense water pressure. Submarines primarily rely on sturdy hulls to withstand the tremendous pressure of the seawater. If they continue to dive deeper, the intense water pressure could instantly crush the submarine. The giant squid inhabits depths ranging from 300 meters to 1,000 meters beneath the sea surface. Their body length can reach over 10 meters, and some individuals weigh more than 100 kilograms. Their eyes are exceptionally large, comparable in size to an adult's head. According to the Guinness World Records, the largest recorded giant squid, observed in Newfoundland in 1888, measured 18.3 meters, including its tentacles, and weighed one ton. In ancient times, the giant squid was often considered a sea monster, and many novels depicted scenes of enormous giant squids dragging ships into the deep sea. However, these deep sea giants spend the majority of their lives in the darkness of the deep sea and rarely surface. Beyond 1,000 meters, there is no light at all, and the area becomes completely dark. In this zone, there is a type of shark called the frilled shark, Chlamydocelicus anguineus, 
averaging 1.45 meters in length. This shark has a unique appearance with a long, snake-like body and six pairs of gill slits that form distinctive frills, giving it the name frilled shark. It is also known as a living fossil because its appearance and ecological characteristics have remained unchanged for millions of years without evolution. The frilled shark aids in our understanding of the evolutionary history of sharks. The deep sea dragonfish resides in the deep sea at around 1,500 meters. It has a relatively large head with a mouth featuring sharp teeth arranged in two rows like spikes. The lower jaw is connected to a bioluminescent lure that constantly flashes and swings to attract prey. Once the prey approaches, the dragonfish uses its sharp teeth to capture it. Its appearance is reminiscent of extraterrestrial creatures from movies. The leatherback sea turtle, also known as the luth or leathery turtle, has evolved into having large limbs that resemble flippers. It is the largest turtle species globally, with a maximum length of up to 3 meters and a weight of 800 to 900 kilograms. The main nesting season for leatherback sea turtles is between May and June, during which they need to climb onto beaches from the ocean, dig nests, and lay eggs. The hatchlings, with a length of approximately 5.8 to 6 centimeters, instinctively crawl towards the sea shortly after hatching. The southern elephant seal is renowned for its elephant-like trunk, making it the largest seal species in the world. Adult males of the southern elephant seal typically measure between 2.6 to 3 meters in length, with a weight ranging from approximately 1,500 kilograms to 5,000 kilograms. It might be surprising that such a massive creature can dive to depths of around 2,000 meters in the deep sea. According to records, they have been documented to reach a maximum diving depth of 2,388 meters. The goblin shark dates back to the era of dinosaurs, having existed on Earth for about 400 million years, showcasing a remarkably long evolutionary history. Goblin sharks lack bones, and apart from their teeth, most of their body is composed of soft tissues. Their average body length is around 1.5 meters. This fish lacks scales, allowing one to see its blood vessels and the direction of blood flow through its body. Its entire body appears white and translucent, resembling a monstrous creature. What's even more peculiar is that its reproductive organs are located on its forehead and can be extended and retracted, giving it an appearance reminiscent of extraterrestrial species. At a depth of 3,000 meters, we enter the deep sea zone where the water temperature is only 1 to 2 degrees Celsius, devoid of any light, and the water pressure exceeds 300 atmospheres. Fish are rarely seen at this depth. However, there is a supersized fish that can dive to this depth, and that is the sperm whale. The sperm whale is the largest living carnivorous animal globally and the deepest diving mammal. It can reach a length of 18 meters and weigh over 50,000 kilograms. Additionally, it possesses the largest brain among animals, with a volume of up to 8,000 cubic centimeters, weighing approximately 7.8 kilograms. Their heads typically account for one-fourth to one-third of their total body length, giving them the appearance of a large tadpole, with the rest of the body appearing light and small. Why is it called a sperm whale? They enjoy swallowing giant squid whole but cannot digest the beak of the giant squid. To prevent the beak from scratching their intestines, sperm whales secrete a substance that encases the beak's residue, gradually forming a sticky, dark-colored substance in the small intestine. This substance, known as ambergris, intertwines with the sperm whale's feces, creating a kind of stone-like formation in the digestive system. When freshly extracted, it has an unpleasant odor, but over time, it develops a fragrant aroma. People use it as a spice or perfume and even for medicinal purposes, making it extremely valuable. In the 9th century, it was highly prized in the Islamic world, and the ancient royalty used this substance. At a depth of 3,800 meters on the ocean floor lies the famous ship, the Titanic. Since 1912, it has quietly rested at this depth. A century later, 
it is now listed in the World Underwater Cultural Heritage Directory, and salvage is not permitted. However, visits are allowed. Nevertheless, venturing to such depths for exploration carry significant risks due to the immense pressure of about 40 megapascals, which is 390 times the pressure at the Earth's surface. On June 18, 2023, five billionaires, having purchased $250,000 tickets each, boarded a submersible for a visit. Unfortunately, the submersible disintegrated underwater, resulting in the tragic death of all five passengers. In the pitch-black darkness of the deep sea at this depth, many marine creatures have evolved with degraded eyesight. The faceless fish is a typical example. It is not actually without a face but lacks eyes, and its head is fused with its body, giving the appearance of being faceless and rather unsightly. This fish inhabits the depths of 4,000 meters, relying on consuming plankton for sustenance. At 6,000 meters, it is considered the ultra-deep sea zone, and human activities are rarely able to reach these areas. In 1989, Japan's Deep Sea 6500 submersible dove to a depth of 6,500 meters. Later, in 2012, China's submersible, Jialong, descended to 7,000 meters. Why not go even deeper? Because the deeper we go into the deep sea, the greater the water pressure. The submersibles are designed with a maximum depth limit, and going deeper could lead to implosion. These submersibles are intended for scientific research and resource exploration in the deep sea, requiring extended operations with multiple scientists. On the other hand, exploration submersibles are designed solely to achieve greater depths for exploration purposes, emphasizing the fundamental differences in their objectives and functions. At a depth of 8 meters in the deep sea, there resides a species of fish known as the ancient snailfish. These fish are the deepest living species recorded and discovered by humans. In the deep sea, where food is scarce, these fish have the ability to store food within their bodies to prevent starvation, and they have a long reproductive cycle. To cope with the immense pressure of the deep sea, they typically have a length of only a few centimeters. Their bodies contain very few bones, and their tissue is a unique gel-like structure filled with fluid, serving to balance internal and external pressure. Scientists speculate that the maximum depth at which fish can live is not likely to exceed 8,200 meters. Contrary to popular belief, survival at the bottom of ocean trenches involves not only coping with immense pressure but also dealing with extreme temperature variations. Additionally, the deep sea floor contains various toxic substances. In the fractures of the ocean floor plates, seawater seeps into the magma through cracks, gets heated, evaporates, and brings out a significant amount of sulfides, heavy metals, and other toxic substances. Scientists claim to have discovered a single-celled organism called the giant amoeba at the deepest point of the Mariana Trench, at a depth of 11,034 meters. This organism is the largest known single-celled organism on Earth, with numerous individuals distributed on the ocean floor. The diameter of a single giant amoeba cell often exceeds 10 centimeters, with some reaching 20 centimeters. An adult human body contains between 400 trillion and 600 trillion cells, most of which have diameters in the range of a few tens of micrometers, requiring a microscope to be visible. In contrast, these organisms can grow to such a large size with a single cell, making them highly valuable for research. As of today, less than 40 people have descended to depths below 10,000 meters in the deep sea. The first recorded instance of humans reaching depths below 10,000 meters occurred in 1960 when Lt. Don Walsh of the U.S. Navy and renowned Swiss deep-sea explorer Jacques Picard piloted a deep-sea submersible to the depth of 10,916 meters. Surprisingly, the second person to reach the depth below 10,000 meters was the renowned film director James Cameron, who is also an explorer. In his pursuit of filming, Titanic, Cameron made dozens of dives personally in submersibles to observe the sunken ship at a depth of 3,800 meters. In March 2012, at the age of 58, 
Cameron descended alone to the depth of 10,898 meters using the Deep Sea Challenger submersible, becoming the third person and the first solo diver to reach such depths. In November 2020, China's manned submersible, Fenduz, successfully dived to surpass 10,000 meters in the Mariana Trench, reaching a record depth of 10,909 meters. This achievement marked the first time that three people were simultaneously taken to the deepest part of the ocean. The Fenduz submersible was designed for routine deep-sea scientific exploration tasks and, through 21 scientific missions, brought 27 scientists to the deepest part of the Earth, turning 10,000-meter deep dives into routine operations, rendering the record less meaningful. The ocean is not only vast but also incredibly deep. The average elevation of Earth's land is only 860 meters, while the average depth of the ocean is 3,680 meters. 94% of Earth's living organisms are found in the water, while only 6%, including humans, live on land. Even today, we continue to discover new species in the ocean, making it a mysterious realm for humanity. Increasingly, more people are drawn to explore the unknown world of the ocean, joining the ranks of those who seek to understand it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up, follow, and subscribe. Thank you, everyone.